Okay, before you watch this video, do make sure you've read through the method on the document before this video. So, let's imagine now that a student performed that method exactly as it says on the document, only this student burnt a larger mass of ethanol and they accurately recorded that larger mass burnt. What we're going to try and figure out is what effect this will have on the calculated enthalpy change. And the way to do this is to write out your equations and we're going to use little arrows to follow what effect our change would have had. So, first of all, let's look at our moles equals mass over MR equation. And remember, this equation is all about the chemical. So it's the mass of the chemical, the MR of the chemical. So in our case, ethanol. So we said we've burnt a larger mass of ethanol, and that has accurately been recorded. So our mass of ethanol that we've recorded has increased. The MR stays the same. I'm going to put a little dot for that. Now, in maths, if you increase the top of a fraction, you increase the final answer. So by burning a larger mass of ethanol, we have burnt more moles of ethanol. Let's do the same for heat equals mc delta t. I'm going to ask you to stop the video for a second. Have a think about which of these values would be affected by burning a larger mass of ethanol. Once you've finished with that, restart the video and I'll go through it. Welcome back. So let's have a look then. This is the mass of the solution. Now, our ethanol was not being added to the solution, so by burning a larger mass of ethanol, we have not affected the mass of the solution. We've also not affected the specific heat capacity of the solution. However, if we burn a larger mass of ethanol, the temperature is going to increase more, isn't it? Right? If you burn more stuff, you make the temperature go up more. And so our delta T will have increased. So if we're increasing delta T, when we multiply all these together, we will increase the heat. So all in all, by burning a larger mass of ethanol, we have increased the moles and we have increased the heat change. And so these two effects will cancel out and so our calculated data H, delta H value will be identical. So it does not matter what mass of ethanol you burn in this experiment, so long as you accurately record what that mass is. Okay, have a crack at this one. So this time, again, exactly the same experiment, but this time the student burnt a larger mass of ethanol, but they didn't record it as being a larger mass. They messed up their mass measurement. So they burnt more mass than what they thought. Have a go with the arrows at running through this and try and figure out what their calculated delta H is. Not what the actual delta H is, but what would be the delta H they calculated. Have a crack at that. Welcome back. Well, if they added more mass but didn't actually record it as being a larger mass, as far as the student's concerned, the mass is the same. And the MR is the same as we've got the same chemical, therefore, as far as the student's concerned, the moles will be the same. However, if they burnt a larger mass of ethanol, when they look at their temperature readings, they'll find that the temperature went up by more. So their delta T that they will record has increased, therefore the heat has increased. So our moles that they think has stayed the same, the t uh, heat has gone up because the temperature change has gone up, therefore all we've done here is increase the heat, and so as far as the student's concerned, their delta H will be larger in magnitude. So as it's an exothermic reaction, it will be more exothermic. So you can see the difference between these two, if I put this last one back on, is that if they accurately record the mass, they'll still get the same delta H, even if that mass is greater. Whereas, if they mess up and inaccurately record the mass, 
it'll appear to the student as though the delta H is now more exothermic.